Hello, everyone. We are here at San Diego Comic Con 2019, and right now we've got a Collider exclusive interview for you with the folks behind Emergence on ABC. I have to say another congratulations to you guys because I like the pilot quite right a on. bit. Thank I'd love you. to start with you two because I'm curious about the idea that started this all. What was the specific thing that kicked it off? Was it the bigger sci fi picture or maybe a specific character arc? I think it was, we always like doing shows that it's our world, but there's one magic thing in the world. So there's it's our world, but there's a also a portal to John Malkovich's head. So I think that all, that always sort of is where we start. Um, do you remember? Uh, you know, also we were, we do a whole process where we try to find things that speak to us. And we were talking about movies of our youth and Spielberg and, you know, just Close kind of encounters. Yeah. E. And wanting things that were a little scary, but at the same time, kind of talk to about a family. That's why it clicked so well for me. <laughs> Those were the perfect names and movies to drop. <laughs> um, I'm also a little curious about your process with the uh, the pickup situation too. I mean, was that just a big emotional whirlwind for you, where it's like it didn't it pan the, out, and then all of a sudden someone it was insane. In. It was the well, best day ever. Yeah. Let's be honest. Well, it was so weird because everything was going fine with NBC, and every you know no, they they were happy, and then things got quiet. And we've done this enough where it's like, well, maybe they're just not going to pick it up and. We'll just do something else and you just you you sort of learn it's like don't get too invested <laughs> don't get too excited and then we got a call from the studio saying um abc network is asking us questions can you go in tonight and pitch them the show and so this is about four hours later we're pitching the show to the new president of abc and uh two days later it was on a saturday we were at my daughter's first communion in church and we're getting calls and I'm like, I'm, I can't talk to you. I'm just sending it to voicemail. <laughs> but it wasn't that, so we got the pickup like. But it was also one of those things having to tell everyone, you're gonna see NBC schedule come out, don't panic. Yes. <laughs> and it was just like, just hold on. <laughs> oh, that's wild. I like to think Iger actually saw the pilot and was like, yo, emergence, <laughs> we need it. That's how I look at things, right? I Jamie. would believe that because you said it. I think I think that is what happened, actually. <laughs> I'm also curious, just from the pitching perspective now with the landscape changing, do you have to go into just about every show you put together at this point thinking, oh, like this could work as a serialized network show, but if you want, it could also work on a streaming platform, too? Uh, you know what? I, I still, we like to do something we're interested in and hopefully it finds a home. I, I, it's, it's too it's very hard, hard to, to try and like craft it for um, one specific thing or another. It's just like here's what works. You either like that or you don't like that, and because you really can't sort of predict what people are gonna like because it changes every single year. We thought we were writing an NBC show, and yeah. now it's on ABC. <laughs> I'm glad it landed there, uh, <laughs> Donald. God. You've obviously had a ton of success on TV, so I was wondering. Has what you looked for in a show to sign on for changed at all from way back then when you first started to what you look for now? Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I started out as just an actor and somewhere along the line I've developed a, a, a niche with uh, comedy. And so when Emergence came around, it was the one pilot that uh, was on the plate on the table for me that wasn't a comedy. And I was like, that's the one I want to go for. That's the one I want to try and do and uh, I went in I remember auditioning and after the audition after the audition I remember going to my kids soccer uh, practice and being like to my wife babe you know I went in I don't think they're gonna give it to me I'm gonna be honest with you I think I walked in and they were like Turk <laughs> you know what I mean and then they called and they and and, and it happened and our experience of it was Donald walks in and you have an idea of what you think Donald is if you've never met him. It's like, okay, I know who this is and and probably not gonna work, but sure, let's see it. And by I, he, by the time he walked out of the room, we were like, Hit oh, set. he just got that part. Like it was, it, it was, was, you knew right away. It yeah. was, it was one of those real <laughs> moments where we, we all turned to each other and we're like, I didn't want to tell him. That was it. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Sabrina, I'm wondering if it's the exact opposite for you, because I know you were on New Amsterdam, so was it just like sidestepping over to a doctor role here? Um, well, I wasn't a... Thank you. No doubts. <laughs> I wasn't a doctor on New Amsterdam. Yes. I was an administrative side of the hospital, and it was weird, though, to, to book a role playing a pediatrician in the scene that I had in the pilot in the hospital. It was odd. But the difference was Sabrina... She had called and said, hey, you want to get drinks? Because we've worked together before. And Michelle and I looked at each other and said, 
Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> That's how all good things start. Do you want to get drinks? And do you want to get drinks? And we're like, yeah, let's do a pilot while we're getting drinks. Because <laughs> now we can get a lot of drinks. I like that story. Um, I have to ask before we wrap up, because I am a Long Island native. Why Long Island? And did you actually shoot anything on Long Island? We did. We shot one day in Long Island. We shoot the, the show in New Jersey. Um, and uh, we shot one day in Greenport. We wanted to pick a place that wasn't like just small town because we had sort of done a small town show that just prior to this but it felt like its own community but was really close to a major metropolitan area so it feels like its own thing also i, I went to college with a, a girl who was from the north fork she said oh it's the poor fork that was how she referred to it uh, because it's not southampton i guess um but i we looked at it, pictures out thank god bless google earth and it's like oh this seems really specific and seems like something I haven't seen on t a lot of these shows. It's like that you'll hear shoot it in Vancouver, and a lot of the that's why a lot of these shows look exactly the same. A lot of mm -hmm. genre shows that shoot in Vancouver kind of look like the X Files. They look like what you expected. So I like that it has its own vibe. Where I'm always from? all for Long Island getting love. I can't speak to the Forks. I'm from Nassau County, yes. but it is a very special place that I'm happy to see get some love on TV. Thank you guys so much for your Thank time you for today. To everybody out there watching this interview, if you like what you heard right now, guess what? You could get more Emergence Talk. We're going to have a button that you could click to watch another interview on the show. Please keep an eye out for it. September 24th, 10, 9 central on ABC. Check it out. Another thank you to the crew right here. Guys, we have so much coverage from San Diego Comic-Con 2019 coming your way real soon, so keep an eye on the channel.